Hi there, guys. I'm Stuart from Marshall Music, and tonight on Stu Chats with, I have with me Meran Roo and Pierre Vierpenar. That's good enough. Off, as he's called in Texas, Pierre Wappener. Wappener, Pierre. Pierre Wappener. Wappener. He's been spending a lot of time in the States. Um, so, yeah, Wappener. Wappener, yeah. Wappener in Afrikaans, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you. Uh, Marant is a fantastic, fantastic singer, blues artist, singer, songwriter, you name it, he can do it all. Um, you're very good. Thank you. And he doesn't want to admit this because maybe you're a bit too humble, but you're in the first season of The Voice. Yes. Which we may or may not talk about during this interview. Yes. <laughs> it was a great experience, but um, right. to the future, to the future. Right, right. Smash a like and share this video and you will win a set of Dean Markey strings. If you can prove it, I will give these to you. They're yeah. worth 200 bucks, so do it. Share it and like. Do it so we can get one too. We need it too. <laughs> Thanks for having us, Yeah, Yo, pleasure, man. Pleasure. Let's talk. I always kind of want to get a bit of a background with my, with my guests. Where did you guys get into music and then how, how did you guys meet? And well, we are two rednecks from Marquis. we Dundekers yeah. and Brett's area. He's from Brett's. <laughs> yeah, you know, outside. I'm sorry, ashamed to say it. Brett's represents, but um, we North met side. Northwest. Northwest, Northwest side. side. Uh, me and Pierre met when I, th I think I was 14 years old and I was walking down the street and I heard him playing guitar. Garage still. Garage, garage band. Amps, as loud as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody needs to know you've got a guitar and playing. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. And I hear this guy <laughs> shouting at me from this loud noise coming from his garage. Uh, I won't mention the words that he shouted <laughs> to me. Asking for a cigarette. And being 14 years old, I you had are... a cigarette in my pocket. <laughs> of course I did. Um, because there was not much to do back then. Yeah. And we've shared that journey now for the last... 20, 20 years. Giving your age away now. No, I'm young. I'm 21 yeah. plus that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've been mates for 20 years, playing together, growing up. I taught him how to play music. Though. Yeah, he taught me. I taught him how to play guitar. Yeah. Okay. I, I, Pierre was the first guy to actually buy my first set of harmonicas. Okay. I remember him coming into the tattoo shop. He said, "I got a present for you. Here, here you go." He said, you've got to learn how to play these. I'm like, what is it? He says, you put it in your mouth and you go... Bee -bee -bee. It's a massive and paperweight. Then, yeah. And uh, then it started from there. Put it in your mouth great. and suck it. Put it in your mouth and suck it. And blow. Blow too. But it was oh. good. And yeah. I remember also back in the day when uh, you just got a pedal. It was a Zoom 303 pedal. 505. 505. I think I was the first the guy 505 was way better than the 303. <laughs> I think I was the first guy in town to get one. Yeah. And, and I was like the... The it was local pedal slug. Yeah, yeah. Can we borrow it for a day or two? <laughs> but it, it ran between the friends because I stole it for like, didn't you borrow my pedal? Like, nah, dude, what pedal again? And then the other friend come, and he's like, no, well, can I borrow that pedal? Yeah, sure. Then when I go back to him, it's the same thing. Nah, I don't know what pedal. Eventually, the circle. Yeah, I lived in a house in Melbourne. As well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ten years later. And in this yeah. house, this guy brings out this new <laughs> pedal. And my name's on the back of the pedal, but it was destroyed. It actually still works. So yeah, but you through every single Zoom garage works. in Joburg. Yeah. It went through all the garages and homes of teenage boys <laughs> practicing their Nirvana and Metallica riffs. Yeah. And I got it back, but it worked, actually. It still worked. Piece of paper that you have to stick underneath the, the one pedal, pedal so it can so work. It works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Busted gear. I hope you're still not using it. No. No, now clean. No more pedals. I have one or two pedals that I use. Okay. Uh, old school analogs. Well, we'll get. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll talk gear later. later. Okay, cool. talk gear later. Yeah. So, so now, <coughs> what happened with? Uh, well, well, shortly after you guys were jamming, and well, when was the voice? The first voice. The first season. I think it was 2016 or 2017. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but uh, it was a great yeah, experience. It was very it was a great experience. It was the first season. My mom asked me so badly. She said, please just go do it for me. If you do it for anyone, do it for me. And I did it for my mom. She went with. She had a 30 seconds of fame on TV. Hello, Ma. <laughs> and, um, which was great. It was good. It was, it was humbling as well. And it's great to see what a big production is all about. Yeah. 
Uh, I recommend it to a certain group of musicians if you feel the need to do big shows and you want to be in the, the limelight. Yeah. Yeah. That's something to do. It teaches you a lot about TV work, yeah. what goes on behind the scenes. I think a lot of people don't know what it takes to pull off a production or even something small as this, mm. uh, the work mm. that goes into it. Mm. it behind me, the scenes yeah, people. It taught me a lot yeah. of confidence. Uh, yeah. I think it boosted my confidence a lot. Um, but not really for me. It wasn't really for me. I think I was too old uh, and too bit established in my ways of yeah. what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you are a pop star, a budding pop star, and that's the way for you to go. But yeah. it was great nonetheless. Okay. It was fun. Okay. It was fun. And then you disappeared out of South Africa. Yes. Uh, my tell, wife, us, tell us about that. My wife and myself decided we are going to sell everything. And we sold lock, stock and barrel. Even we, the Zoom. Even the Zoom pedal. <laughs> I think I gave it away. <laughs> and we packed a backpack and we went eeny, meeny, money, mo. And it landed in Argentina. And it was cool. It's visa-free travel. And um, we were supposed to travel for three to six months and then move along. And we ended up staying for three years. Okay. I was great. I love it. I have a home there. I have a cat there, Stu. I know you're a cat person. <laughs> I know you're a What's, your cat's, you love name? What's cat? your cat's name? My cat's name is Chimichurri. And that is... Which named after the, the, the sauce. The sauce, the salsa. Yeah, the that, salsa, uh, the Argentinian salsa. Yeah, Chimichurri. I love, I love that stuff. Nice. So okay. I miss her dearly. Um, we have a great base. I did something totally out of my comfort zone. I went and worked with uh, kids in an English immersion camp for three years. Okay. That tested my patience very much. And I loved it. I loved it. I have a... A tour group that comes once a year. I have an exchange program with the Argentinian kids coming to South okay. Africa. And we yeah. show them Josie, Pretoria, the wildlife. We take them to the bushfell where we, guys, where we grow up, grew yeah, up yeah. and yeah. where we live. And give them the non touristy experience. We make yeah, them eat lack cool, of spicy eh? food and go pop and water sp yeah, pop and flakes and <laughs> water sports place. on the dam. So it's all fun. It was okay. fun. Um, okay. Music-wise, I think... Yeah, let's talk about that. Yes. I'm very interested. You, you told me off-camera, it, it, it kind of came across like you've, you, you've seen a lot more of a sort of positive music yes. industry that side. Yes. And you've seen a bit of a downturn here. Yes, let's downturn here. Yeah. We'll get to that let's now. Let's first talk about your Argent music. Oh, yeah. Argentina is fabulous. They celebrate art, music yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Everything they do, they have natural rhythm. It's Latina, you know? Yeah. Um, loads of history. Loads know? of history. Yeah. And they protect that history. They, yeah. they, they love that history. And they know how to be fans. I don't know how to explain that to someone. They know how to be a fan of music and yeah. celebrate artists. Yeah. Uh, I played with a great three-piece band there, uh, a very nice gentleman by the name of Marcelo Bueno. He's about 61 now. Hola, papi! Um, <laughs> he, uh, he's a great drummer. He toured the world, went to, to uh, Portugal, Italy, Europe. And um, he actually is my, my boss back then, or that time, it was her husband. I kept hearing the drum set going every day. And yeah. then she said, oh, he plays drums. And another friend of mine, uh, Fernando Catapano, he was on bass. And we had this nice little power trio that we played with. <clears throat> they love the blues and rock and roll. They love rock okay. music in Argentina. Okay. Um, and then... I had a very interesting experience with a band called The All Time Sailors. Again, out of my comfort zone, I got this call from a guy. He said, do you want to be part of the sailors? Are you ready to get on a ship and rawr, all matey hearty? <laughs> and I thought, this is very weird, but I'll go and check it out. Yeah. And it's a big production group. It's like a, almost a theater uh, interactive group. We were 18 members. And it is rowdy. It's a three-hour show. I haven't danced and sing and moved that much in my life. Yeah. You drink with a crowd. You dance with them. It's one of the best experiences of my life. It's a great okay. show. Go check it out. The Old Time Sailors. Okay. They are touring Europe now, okay. which I unfortunately cannot be part of for this year. Right. Uh, we'll see next year. Maybe, maybe but, uh, next year yeah. but it's a great, great band. Great music, exploration. And like I said, the Argentinians, they know how to be fans, something that South Africa needs to learn. Yeah, I think uh, in general, South African audiences are very reserved. And uh, I don't think we're reserved. We're wild people. We're Africans. Uh, we're South <laughs> Africans. We party like rock stars. But I think we need to learn how to celebrate musicians. Mm. And that means you mm. guys need to come to the shows. 
Yes. Come, come to live shows. Yes. Buy a guitar. Buy a guitar. Yes. Buy a drum kit. Marshall. <laughs> so, yeah, the state of affairs of the South African industry, music-wise, is sad. Um, mm. I've been back for the last two months. You've been back a month. Months and a week. We've played some gigs, which is nice. Um, but we have to go work halfway. We have to go find it. Yeah. Um, the days are gone where people pick up the phone and book you. And, but it's sad. I think there's well, a lot of musicians that are busy starving that won't admit it. But, uh, but, but also, like you said, I think that there's a lot of complacency with South African musicians. Yes. They're not chasing those gigs. That, like you, you need said. to work hard. Um, yeah. You need to go and find your venue, find your market, find your people. And work it, even if it's not your market or yeah. your people. You need yeah. to adapt. Yeah. And put, like you said, put on your own show. Go hire a venue, a, That's a scout hall, a school, whatever. We all Make know. The shows. We all know sound engineers. We all know lighting yeah. techs. We all have a friend that's into photography yeah. or videography. Yeah. Um, use those guys. Yeah. Give them a call. Split the bill, the difference with yeah. your little. I know we earn so little money. But split that money. The first one, no one's going to make money. The second, the third one, mm -mm. by the fifth one, if you're consistent, it's going to come flowing in. Yeah, and people audience. will follow it. And you're going to build the audience yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, we had some cool rock and roll shows. We have a very nice redneck show, uh, the 1st of Feb, yeah. just outside of Brits. Okay. In this wonderful dive bar, this wild crocodiles outside. You don't walk <laughs> where it's dark. Uh, it's a bit dangerous, Jeez. but um, not the women. The real <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> not, the, not the clientele. <laughs> but uh, what a great venue, and it's a vibe. And we actually played last year when we when I returned from Argentina for a bit. We actually playing our anniversary gig there on the first yeah. of Feb. People begged I'll put me links in yes, the description we'll the below for, for that gig. Yeah, it looks rad. People begged me and said, "When are you doing that show again? When are you doing that show again?" Because it's Rock and roll, it's sweaty, it's hot, it's in the middle of nowhere. You can be yourself. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, musicians, yeah, cool. they need to go work hard for it. Um, you need to go chase it. I think the days of being on social media, yes, social media is a great tool, but go, go and drive to the venue, go have a beer there, go meet the owner, go yeah. tell them who you are. Yeah. Talk about it. Yeah. Meet the drummer and get lessons, meet the guitarist and get lessons. Yes. You know? yeah. Go yeah. buy the guitar, back to that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, like I tell my wife, my three-year-old is getting a drum kit. Why? Because daddy wants one. <laughs> you know, you'll play it for like three days and then you're like, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. I get that often. <laughs> Just buying a guitar for my son. Yeah, it's for my son. Yeah. Oh, you buy it for your wife as a gift. Look, look at this beautiful Gibson I bought. It's your color. <laughs> yeah. Well, talking of gear, what... Yes. <clears throat> What guitars are you guys playing? What you into? What, what, you what's first. your current kind of? Um, well, my first one. Oh. Well, I'm obviously oh. a Fender fan. <laughs> I'm a Fender fan. He parts the golden <laughs> chest. <laughs> um, obviously a Fender, a Fender, big Fender fan, uh, yep. Strat Fender. Good um, man, good man. The first one I got was a was a Ibanez. I was 13 years young, and I told my mom, "Well, what the the Ibanez Strat." Uh, <laughs> no, the the road it was an Ibanez no. RX series. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Old school, double yeah. humbucker, single yeah. coil. Okay. And I told my mom, my master belief is his guitars, the neighbor's guitars, he's got a band and everything, and he's selling the guitar. I think it was like 1200 bucks with the bag, mom. It's with the bag, you know, because <laughs> the bag's so expensive. <laughs> and I had to play Ken Mullen for my mom. <laughs> I had to the play these so bridges for my mom. <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was fun learning it because I never I don't ever want to play. Well, I can't remember it anymore. Thank, yeah. thank God for that. And then, well, <laughs> I played that for quite a quite a long time. Pimped yeah. it. I put a Seymour Duncan Blues Deluxe nice. that I bought by Marshall Music. Okay. And um, <clears throat> then I'm, I got a Takamini that I bought in England, acoustic. Great, great, great acoustic guitar. I still have it. Still. Oh, well, I was just going to say, being a Takamini, it's probably still around. Yes. Yeah, no Dents and bruises and all that stuff. But it's still fine. Still stays in tune. Yeah. Um, better than most guitars, but anyway, I won't say that. <laughs> and then I got an Epiphone hollow body, 1970, 1968. I'm not 100% sure if it's six. My my wife's grandfather played it in church, I think which it's the, the Duomini gave him in the 70s. It's a pre-lawsuit. 
It's very it's, a, it's a, I only use it for slide guitaring as it's, okay. it's busted up and I don't want to fix it. As this, The strings are about 15 years old, but I like the sound that I get out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want the bright sound. It yeah. just, you know. And then otherwise, the Fender, yeah. Okay. And amp wise? Amp wise, uh, when I was back in the day with the, with the Ibanez series and stuff, I got myself a Peewee Banded 112. Mm -hmm. Great metal amp, yeah. great acoustic they amp. Anything, couldn't they? It's yeah. a fantastic, great yeah. blues, great yeah. metal, great workhorse. country. Yeah. Um, I still have that, and then I got myself like a Fender, the, the GT40 series. Yeah. I love those. Love that. It's this big, yeah, small, and it does everything. Yeah. It's got everything in it. You can carry it on the as plane. Much, as yeah. much pedals as you need. Pedals, more blues deluxe, old yeah. radial Texas T-bone, yeah. like a cool. TS9 times yeah. two, beautiful yeah. amp uh, pedal, wah Vox wah. I got from him as a gift. The um, best good friends, do, yeah. yeah. Acoustic pedal that I just actually play at home for sound effects. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And yeah. the standard tremolo boss. Yeah, yeah nice. Gear wise for me, yeah. um, it sounds stupid, but I had a really nice court acoustic and I broke it in Argentina. I fixed it and I left it in Argentina. But it was a workhorse, it worked. It got banged up also, the same, mm. it worked. But left that there. And the moment I only play an old 94, uh, 95 Mexican Strat. Yeah. Flame maple neck, beautiful. Yeah. I wanted to check the serial number. It was part of the fire when mm. they had the big fire in Corona. So oh, right. I think yeah, yeah. Half, it's got Fender Custom Shop pickups in it, which mm. doesn't belong there. That I think was all mixed and matched when they actually built, moved the factory. Right. So I got okay, that from yeah. the for steel it was a great it's a great guitar yeah. and pedal wise i'm i've actually learned with a strat you have to learn how to play a strat it sounds mm. stupid i was very anti stratocaster because for me it was like a mainstream i wanted the pointy shiny ibanez <laughs> yeah. and then i couldn't play the shreds yeah. and stuff yeah. um and then i saw the light went to fender i got this fender and i actually had to learn how to play the guitar from scratch it works it taunts you yeah you've got to fight it it doesn't it. It. you've got to get, get the notes it. out of it that's yeah. it yeah. so i learned a lot having this guitar and playing clean using the guitar mm. for its more sound. volume for distortion, volume for distortion. The pedal, you know awesome, working yeah. with the tremolo uh and actually playing the guitar so pedal wise i have a nice little blues breaker that i use just for that oomph yeah. and that and beautiful argentinian pedal uh, by a company called mbs Okay. A uh, beautiful reverb pedal called a humming verb. Okay. Mm. Very, very beautiful sound. Yeah. Awesome, strong. And that's it. If okay. I cannot carry it mm. through customs mm. at the airport, it's that means going. I don't need it. <laughs> so not a lot of gear. No. I'm a one and, guitar man now. And now you're talking about the, that Argentinian <clears throat> made pedal. Yes. So is there a big industry there? Because There's a huge me, industry. You're telling me they make their own, they've got their own There's string good, brands. They make their own strings. They create their own pedals. There's different guys. Luthiers, I mean. Must be loads, eh? Loads. And oh. wonderful people, uh, wonderful artists, not mainstream. And it's hobbyists as well. Oh. Some are proper up there guitar luthiers. Um, but even the small guys, they sell a guitar, two or three, uh, even in the small towns, mm. like you have your small town out of the big city, they support him. They'd rather support that guy yeah, that's than, that guy. Mm. than yeah. ordinary guitar brands, which yeah. is great. Yeah. No, there's awesome. a big industry for that. Awesome. Yeah. And, and now tell me, well, what's, what's happening next with you guys? You, well, what's happening now? How long are you here for now? I'm, we are here for another we, month and week a month and a week okay. then we're off to texas what's happening there we're gonna go play there uh, luckily Pieri, he uh, he's dragging me along to go with him he's been in the last season so he's gonna take me back with him there um tell tell me about your stuff you you played there with yeah, interesting uh, people texas texas is grand where about you staying in there a, a small town called floyd Ada, okay. northwest texas it's yeah. Yeah, it's, I showed him on Google Maps. Everything around us is just, there's a town. Nothing. If you zoom in, it's still that big, you know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's tiny. But there's music. But there's yeah. music. When my, I mean, uh, Texas is the size of South it's, Africa. It's eh? twice, it's, it fits twice in South Africa. So okay. South Africa fits twice in no, Texas. It's, anyway, okay. um, Google it. 
We play music, we're not geographers. Um, you know. <laughs> so, um, I went to go out with the boss that I worked there for, his son, and he took me out for some live music, watched a country band play there, you know, upright bass, really, yeah. really good. And before that, there was this guy played, his name was Dan Patterson, and good songwriting, his music's played over 16 countries, he's got some top 40s around the world. What's up, Dan? I don't know which one it is. <laughs> What's up, Dan? And um, after the show, I'm like, dude, yes, I'd love, I, I would love to just jump on stage there right with you and just jam. It's like, dude, you should have. I'm like, no, it's your, you know, it's your slot. Yeah. As a musician, you don't do that. You know, just jump yeah. on stage. Give me that. You don't do yeah. that. Yeah. And then um, I asked him, well, let's book a gig. And it was from the hip. He's like, okay. I'm like, what, what key are we playing? He's like, uh, I think it's C. All right, okay, we'll C. And then he said over the mic, okay, well, hi, he's from South Africa. I'm so, we've never done this. Let's go. And then everybody just goes, Whew dead quiet, not like you get in South Africa when you're busy jamming, it's, it's rowdy, people it's okay, go on, yeah. they don't even notice you actually. Yeah, a lot more respectful. And then that was the first thing I was like, okay, now I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know what I'm playing, I don't know what he's playing, and everybody just goes and stare at you, wait for it. I'm like, okay, don't mess this up, dude. <laughs> and that was good, I played with another uh, chicky there called Tatum Sheets, uh, hello again, Tatum, um, great vocalist, same thing when you jam people, dead quiet, but I learned a lot. Music is good there. People really respect it. Yeah. They love yeah. it. They, yeah. it's, you know, I that's what we want to go do there now. Yeah. You know, we want to go jam that side. What we what we creating, we are actually starting a yes, band. But it's a secret called uh, Harvestone is the band's name. So oh, gives away the story. secret. <laughs> so how the, how this worked? Yeah. Is Myron's in Argentina on the phone, called video calling me, and I'm this side in Texas. And we're like, oh, well, dude, this is the so-and-so. And he's like, yeah, well, let's try this. And then he writes a song, I write a song, I write a guitar piece, he writes a guitar piece, then we video call each other and play He it. basically wrote a 12-track album over the phone for each other in the course of a year. And then oh, wow, we phoned cool. South Africa and we started sending the music back to the South African musos, yeah. you know, that actually plays the instruments. To, to play it. Um, and like, we're so, coming back, we're landing here this time, this time. We've got a couple of gigs. Gig. <laughs> this is, you guys need to rehearse this, learn this, <coughs> and when we get back, quick rehearsal, we play. And it works. So in theory, we created yeah. this band over three continents, if yes. I can Fantastic. put it that way. That is super yeah. cool. So Harvest Technology. Don't band. we love the internet? Yes. yes. Thank you for the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to... We said to each other, let's keep it and we'll launch it in, in the States okay. um, as a as a American band because yeah. we have, uh, it's not just the two of us, we're going to collect bass, bass player, yeah, or a full band. And it's band, just you know? better to do it that way anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, people know us, people don't know me or yeah. him by that name here and it's pointer. So, on spiel my own ons eie name and ons rock and roll it. Yeah. Shoot that heap, I do it. Yeah, 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 awesome. But interesting times ahead. So nervous. What a day to be alive. Yeah. And now, so, so what? And what about your work visas and all that stuff? Uh, it's getting sorted. It's sorted. It's there. It's there. It's there. Mine's in the bank as I've been there last in the bank. year. I'm so. waiting for mine. <laughs> do you know anyone at the American consulate? Please be nice to us. We just yeah, rock and roll. That's all we want to do. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's going to be a trip, you know. We're looking forward to it. Um, it's definitely it's strange. It's long. Coming back to December, it's so it's, big. A, it's, a, it's a long year. Yeah. It's big. A lot of work. I mean, people don't realize that a band or an artist don't need to leave their state. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a following and they survive. Yeah. Um, so we're hoping yeah, to massive. kind of achieve a bit of a following and also share something from South Africa. We try and, my experience, I try and immerse myself in every country that I'm in, yeah. and I try and immerse those people with m our culture and what we do. I hope you're spreading good words about yes. SA. Yes, SA always. Yeah, good. Everything good. is good and better in SA. And now, in closing, so I, I kind of ask this to most of my guests, is what, you know, for, for youngsters trying to get into music or become successful songwriters, whatever, what is your advice to them? Put down your phone. Put down the phone. Go to Facebook. Pick go up to, the guitar. Go to the guitar shop and like, what is your cheapest guitar? Get a job. Let's start there. Get a job. Like we all did as waiters and I you know, like saved yeah. up 600 rand or whatever and then bought a cranked up acoustic guitar. Play the CD player, rewind, play, rewind, yeah, play, rough, rewind, till you figure it out. We, we, had didn't, it we didn't have, yeah, we did. what's it called? We, don't have, we didn't have YouTube. The, the guitar, what's that guitar? 
on the internet. Ultimate it, guitar yeah, tab. We didn't have that. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop and play. Yeah. So you, that's how you know how to play all the Metallica songs and <laughs> all the Slayer songs. <laughs> no, I think yeah, 100%. advice, go find a gig, work hard. Yeah. Get your friends, collaborate. Yeah. Collaborate with your friends, even if it's not a musician. It must be industry people. Go hang out. Like I said, go drink the beer at the bar. Go meet the owner. Go tell them about yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. And don't be shy. Don't be, don't be af afraid to put yourself out there. Mm. Yeah. And nothing mention, nothing gain. Just nothing just mention, nothing go. gain. Yeah. And promote your own music. Don't be scared of your of your own music. Be proud of it. Be mm. proud of it. Yeah. If you play covers, yeah, but make it your own. Mm. Um, fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Um, <laughs> But the state of affairs, music industry wise, <laughs> yeah. spike it till you make it, dress to impress. Uh, <laughs> if you want to, <laughs> if you want to beat the slump of the industry at the moment, you have to go work hard for it. That's like we said earlier. Yeah. Um, it's not going to, it's not going to um, sort of just rectify itself no, for it's not. you. Or Everyone needs to work together. Yeah. Stop undercutting other musicians. Yes. Ask, er, ask what you're worth. If yeah. you feel you're worth this amount of money. Yeah. You charge that. If yeah. the guy says no, every 10 no's is you're going to get a yes. Yeah. And you'll eventually, and then every gig you'll get what you you'll want. You'll get what that. you want. Yeah. But musicians, yeah. you need to stick together. All of you. Amal van jullie. Bergsam, Berghard, and Credit Cooking. Yeah. All right, cool. That's great advice. Thank great you. Advice. We're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. So enjoy the rest Thank of your time Thank you so much, Stuart, okay? for having it's us nice and Marshall back. Music. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Marshall Music. <laughs> I want the less 40. <laughs> Thank you, Dear Vault. Great it. Thank you, Dear Vault. We love Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Guys, that's all. That's it. That's it. Thank you very it's much. Over. Thank you. One, one, one more yes. thing. One more thing. I forgot. I'm sorry. Can I have one more moment? Yes. That one. That one or that one? That, that one. one. That one. So, one culture. You need to go Google that. One culture and the joint Coffee house in Kwekerai in Coffee house Poort. and nursery yes. in Arpies Poort. Ons is bezig om een great nieuwe, nieuwe revolutionary pad te geer vir artists. So as jy a muso is, of a chef is, of a fotograaf is, or even if you're an actor, ballerina, it has to be to do with good art. You come and sign up with us on the weekend of the 31st and the 2nd of Feb at the joint Coffee Ice and Quaker Rye in Harpies Poort. Come and check out, come and hang out, and we will tell you more. You can go check it out on social media as well, and we will give you more information. So, we're opening up routes for the artists. Cool. Cool. That's all for tonight, guys. Thank you. We'll put all those um, links in the description below. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Stu. Cheers, Stu. Cheers.